There are also breaking developments overseas tonight. President Trump arriving a short time ago, and it comes amid the intensifying showdown with North Korea. The White House tonight with a new warning. President Trump arriving in Poland now, the big meeting with Vladimir Putin coming. But much of the focus right now, North Korea, successfully testing its first intercontinental ballistic missile, capable of hitting the U.S. And what the Pentagon acknowledged late today about that North Korean missile, Here's ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, tonight. The missile launched by North Korea is more powerful and more sophisticated than anything that country has ever tested before. A two-stage intercontinental ballistic missile blasted straight up into space some 1,700 miles high. But here is what is so alarming. If the North Koreans angle the missile's trajectory for distance instead of altitude, experts say it could travel well over 4,000 miles, meaning it could potentially hit Alaska or even come close to Seattle. Kim Jong-un gleefully calling it a package of gifts on Independence Day. In response to the North Koreans, the U.S. and South Korea launched short-range missiles off the coast of the Korean Peninsula. There is still time for diplomacy, but the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. said today is a dark day. Time is short. Action is required. The world is on notice. And so let's get to Martha Raddatz in our Washington bureau tonight. And Martha, as you reported there, the Pentagon said today that the missile the North Koreans launched is something the U.S. has never seen before. All right, David, this is exactly the kind of missile the U.S. knew the North Koreans were working on, but we never expected it to be launched this soon. Experts say it is years ahead of schedule, David. Martha Raddatz, thank you. Years sooner, as you heard Martha report there, than what the U.S. thought. So let's get right to ABC's military analyst, retired Marine Colonel Stephen Ganyard. And Steve, you saw what Martha reported there, that if that missile had gone the same distance, but along a different trajectory, it could have made it to the U.S. Obviously, this is very concerning. So what does North Korea really have to do now to complete its nuclear missile plan? David, yesterday the North Koreans demonstrated that they have a rocket that can reach the United States. But take a look at this image. This is what's disturbing. This is what we believe is a miniaturized nuclear warhead. We don't know yet whether the North Koreans can put the warhead with the rocket and have it survive the heat of reentry. It's the last piece of the puzzle, and we know they're working hard to get it. The last piece of the puzzle. Steve Gander with us tonight.